in case if you are flashing a custom recovery routing your galaxy samsung galaxy mobile if you are getting this trouble like your set is showing i mean number is unknown base band is unknown because you have flashed something like mismatch custom rom or mismatch file if this happens with you then how to get back the ime number luckily i got back my ime number on my galaxy s9 which is the european variant single sim mobile phone and i install phone info first from google play store to find out to what region of firmware i am having on my galaxy s9 so after using the phone info application i got to know that my s9 is having the germany dpt firmware on it the latest android 10 so how exactly i got back my ime number on my galaxy s9 will show you in this video if you are new on my channel do not forget to subscribe it and click or tap the bell icon stay connected with me in this case you will see that signals are not coming the data sim is not working and also the set will get to reboot in every four to five minutes before applying this procedure move or save all your internal storage data because this procedure will format everything go to settings then to accounts sync your google account once and then remove it also remove the screen lock password link provided in my video description click the link this website will get open you can see that the latest samsung firmware in case if your model is not galaxy s9 if you have any other samsung model you must know the model number so type the model number here in keywords for example my galaxy s9 model is g960f then click search the other page will get open and click on the first search result now the other page will get open and you must know that what country firmware you are having on your samsung galaxy mobile you can install phone info from google play store which is a free application and you can look for your country firmware just like that i will click dbt germany country the page will get open and you will see many many firmware uh, files over here but go for the last and latest release uh, look for the dates january 2021 security update if you move here you will see december 2020 i will suggest you to go for the last and latest release click on it the other page will get open if you are a registered user of this website you can click on this option and if you are uh, if you want to get this firmware file for totally free then click on the slow speed the firmware will get start downloading this is my folder where i have downloaded all the required files first of all download the samsung usb driver and install it on windows the windows will install the drivers automatically after booting the mobile phone into download mode and connecting it with windows if you have already installed this on your windows then there is no need to reinstall it download the odin 3.14.4 and extract it s9 firmware file and must extract it before proceeding the procedure after extracting the firmware file double click the extracted folder and you will see a bunch of files inside in this folder go back to the downloaded folder uh, open the extracted odin folder and double click the odin file here click ok odin will get open now first of all click bl go to your downloaded folder where all the firmware files are there this is my firmware extracted folder select the file starting with bl this one click on it and click open wait when you see a check sign then next turn click ap same go to that downloaded extracted folder of firmware and select the file starting from ap click here then click open this file will take a time so wait finally odin booted the ap file now the next turn is click on cp same going to that folder select selecting the file starting with from cp and then click open so we are having three check sign the last one is click csc 
same way go to that folder uh, select the file starting from csc click open finally odin is ready to start flashing moving towards my mobile phone now putting mobile phone into download mode for that mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume down key first then bixby key and along the power key hold it press soon you will see the warning screen then release all the keys and press the volume up key once to continue press uh, volume up key once to lighting up the screen the odin mode screen will get appear connect the cable with mobile phone after connecting the cable with mobile phone the Odin will show the set is connected this uh, sign means that the set is properly connected now click start the flashing will start do not plug any USB device in your computer do not play any file or videos or anything so wait let the flashing to be completed then we will continue When flashing gets completed, the set will automatically restart and the audit will show pass. Disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. I am done with my computer. I will switch off my computer now. So my set will start first boot which will take time. So I will wait. First boot complete, setup screen complete. I will go to the settings of my mobile phone then we'll go to the about phone and here we go we got the ime number back and also the base band this is the easy way to get the ime number back if you are missing it and if you are missing the base band give a thumbs up to my video thank you so much take care of yourself we'll see you in next video till then goodbye